Typhoon Joshkun, Anadolu Agency via Getty Images. After nearly two years working from home, Google employees in the Bay Area and several other cities will be back at the office on April 4. The announcement, Kameen an email from John Casey, Google's Vice President of Global Benefits, reported CNBC. Casey cited the steady drop in COVID-19 cases in the Bay Area. Advances in treatment and improved safety measures as reasons behind the return's timing. Google, along with much of Silicon Valley, initially planned a January return to work date, but was forced to delay it due to the Omicron surge. Since then, the company has allowed workers to voluntarily return to its Mountain View and San Francisco offices if they agree to wear a mask and are fully vaccinated. Google is taking a slow approach to transitioning its entire workforce back to the office. Last year CEO Sundar Pichai laid out a hybrid work plan, with most employees having the option to work remotely for at least part of the week. We'll see this plan in action in April, with most Google employees still working from home two days a week. Employees can work at the office more often if they choose, or file for an extension of their work from home arrangement if they are not ready to return. Springtime seems to be when much of big tech is eyeing a return to campus. Microsoft employees return to work at the Redmond, Washington headquarters this week, but with the expectation that most employees will spend about 50% of their time working remotely. Most Meta employees will be returning to the office on March 28. Twitter employees can opt to work remotely forever, but has allowed employees access to their San Francisco and New York City offices if they show proof of vaccination. President Joe Biden called for the vast majority of federal employees to return to the office in his State of the Union speech on Tuesday. So it's likely we'll see even more companies announce their reopening dates soon, especially if cases continue to decline and cities drop mask mandates. All products recommended by Engadget are selected by our editorial team, independent of our parent company. Some of our stories include affiliate links. If you buy something through one of these links, we may earn an affiliate commission.